NASA is tracking a huge asteroid which is heading towards Earth at the speed of 31,400 miles per hour. The asteroid is called 2010 FR and is about 270 meters wide. To put this into perspective, the asteroid is almost twice as big as the Great Pyramid of Giza. It has been confirmed that it will pass near our planet on 6 September. It will be about 4.6 million miles away from Earth during its close approach. That's about 16 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon. So there's no reason to worry, NASA said that this space rock poses no risk to our planet. This asteroid has been termed as a near-Earth object by NASA. Any comet or asteroid which comes within 1.3 astronomical units from the Sun is called a near-Earth object. These asteroids have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter the Earth's neighborhood. One astronomical unit is the average distance between Earth and the Sun. This asteroid was first spotted by astronomers in 2010 and is classified as an Apollo asteroid because it crosses the Earth's orbit. Astronomers are currently tracking around 2,000 asteroids and comets which could threaten our planet. A car-sized asteroid recently flew past Earth last weekend, closer than any known asteroid has ever come without crashing into the planet. It was the closest known non-impacting asteroid known to mankind. The tiny space rock was called 2020 QG, and it passed about 2,950 kilometers above Earth's surface. That asteroid went peacefully on its way, and even if it would have hit Earth, it would have burned up in the Earth's atmosphere. Astronomers at the Palomar Observatory didn't even know that the asteroid was flying by the planet until it had already passed. What will happen if this asteroid hits Earth? As long as the asteroid is classified as potentially hazardous, there will always be a small possibility of an Earth-bound collision at a later unspecified date. Based upon the current estimates of its size, if the asteroid would hit Earth, it will surely bring significant devastation. Though this asteroid won't hit us, some external influences might change the asteroid's trajectory. The gravitational tug of planets over time could cause an object's orbital path to evolve into an Earth-crossing orbit. This opens up the possibility of a future collision. Some scientists believe that the effects of Mars and Jupiter's gravity can actually dislodge some asteroids from the inner asteroid belt, and that is where they think most Earth asteroids come from. The second scenario implies that an asteroid could be hit by another object, breaks into smaller chunks, and this could send them heading towards Earth. How is NASA going to protect us from asteroids? The Planetary Society states that an asteroid bigger than one kilometer across is big enough to threaten global destruction. It is estimated that there is one in a 50,000 chance that such an object could hit Earth every 100 years. The asteroid which is believed to have caused the extinction of the dinosaurs measured at around six miles across, so asteroids are no joke. Space agencies such as NASA are tracking around 20,000 near-Earth objects constantly. They are not only monitoring these close objects, but they are also searching for potential new ones. The objects which have a close approach are indeed potentially hazardous, but none of the ones we currently know of have a direct trajectory towards Earth. In the event that an asteroid might be on a course towards us, the most likely way in which we could probably deal with it is by launching a rocket with the bomb as its payload and aiming for the asteroid. Exploding the bomb at the asteroid's surface could disrupt its interior enough to break it apart. This could shift its course and limit the threat to Earth. If researchers detect a potentially dangerous asteroid in plenty of time, the best option would be to send a robotic probe out to ride along with it. The spacecraft's modest gravity would exert a tug on the asteroid as the two cruise through space together. Over months or years, this gravity tractor method would pull the asteroid into a different orbit. You can get a very precise change in the orbit for the final part of the deflection using a technology of this kind.